uh, in case you're watching. Just getting set up really quick now that I have the stream going. Trying to make sure that I can see your guys' messages if you guys are sending them. See that every now and then people are watching. and use my phone. say that I'm playing cool. Talk to the council. Hey, Commander. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of I me know feels him, guilty but... over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. Yeah, I you appreciate do. that. I hold Things up. were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. Oh, yeah. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. That's true. She helped a lot. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. You're welcome. You're a good girl. Oh, cut on. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Thanks, man. Okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough. Good 
good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. There it is. So that's the Citadel. Got it. All right. Joker. I'm just saying you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance. Ready. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. In case the game pauses, guys, I'm just doing one quick adjustment. Uh, so. All right. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. No patrols are scheduled for that sector, do we? Okay, so it's just like codex entries. God, I'm gonna go crazy on this stuff. It's probably gonna make it really boring for people watching, I'm not gonna lie. Because um, I do love to read everything. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, didn't you? This is all going so wrong. 
and it is the Asari Consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Who's this Asari Consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Sha'ira, the Consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find the Sasari Consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, mm -hmm. programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Really? Presidium VI? Don't you mean Presidium 6? Or maybe she's right, I don't know, I should say. Oh, virtual interface terminals, got it. Uh-huh. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security ah, serves as law enforcement for all... Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC. But if you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the... Tell line. me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space <coughs> important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an... The uh -huh. Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy. Roughly 2,384 galactic stand. The most recently there. added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Do you know anything about the term Spectre? Is derived from the branch of special tactics and reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is handpicked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channel. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. What can you tell me about the Citadel? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. So I can walk there. Wait, just take. I'll walk back, sir. Oh, it's a loading screen. Got it. You've arrived at Citadel Tower. Love this music, actually. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakari. 
I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. <laughs> oh, Who are yeah. you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a Spectre. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. It's fucking awful. <laughs> the council isn't going to ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Aha! I knew it! I went the wrong way. Then we're gonna do it all over again! I knew I should've just walked, then I wouldn't have gotten confused. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Yeah, just follow the arrow, and the arrow's pointing the other Unless it's north. That might be north. Bitch, that means north. Ah. <sighs> all these prim and proper people. Through the grass, because I feel like the bolus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the bolus will be right on their coattails if they succeed. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic. The Hanar are likely to be next, then the Elcor. You may be right. Will the Hanar need to lighten up a bit first? You just don't. The hearing's already started, come on! The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. Uh, I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre, and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. 
I read the Eaton Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Dick. This meeting is adjourned. Come on. You have to stand there forever. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's yep. right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Sarah. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. Oops. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. Oh, uh, let's see... Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics, doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be...
bet all these staircases aren't just for show. They make for good defensive positions if this place is ever attacked. That guy's up to something. We're shadowing. What guy? What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh, yeah. I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? Maybe. No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. Oh, do you? So long, and good luck with the scanning. Alright, heading down. God, not this again. I can't believe the Council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operators. It's only natural they take his word over ours. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his Geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. the keeper. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal. Behind me is the spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the keepers. The you may see keepers involved in various tasks throughout. The keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration. That's all for now. Thank you for... 
disturb the keepers. Who's trying to kill me? C-Sec officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down. Eh? Yeah, he is. I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. What? You know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The I heroes bet. fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> you said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, ah. you might as well spread them around. Ah, ah, ah. Everybody's got herpes, apparently. <laughs> Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. <laughs> what do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always hey, will bucking heads with the Executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The Executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. <laughs> What's it like working for CSEC? You mean, what was it like? 
Executor suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bus, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it in peace. Human military, huh? Not now. <laughs> oh, you oh, oh, touch me in my private place. Oh, thank you. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. What did that other Krogan want? Rex? Mm -hmm. Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Goodbye. Enjoy the club. I won't. I did that in my real life. Virtual reality is about doing something different, right? Mm -hmm. We all permit property. Not really, actually. It's like we all righteous and justice, like. Maybe it's not true. Parkin's an ass. Bet he's just messing with our heads. I hate when I run too fast and it cuts them off, or when they don't program it right, it's just let it continue. Lower markets. Okay, where do I want to go? Upper wards. Oh, music. Oh, hold on. Sorry, the dog wants to go outside. Be right back, guys. And I'm back. Okay. This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The Council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. If you expect to get me in a tinfoil miniskirt and thigh-high boots, I want dinner first. Sir. <laughs> that will be enough, Chief. At ease, Lieutenant. You can't see her in a skirt anyway. Damn straight you can't. Ready to move out, sir. I did 
didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Dot. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Glad I could help. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What quarry? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot. But she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Ah. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That quarry must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the quarry? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There's no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after <laughs> Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Got it, okay. All combat strength. I never properly thanked you for saving me from... I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Let me take a look at what of you have. Of course. Oh. How much I have, I guess? Jesus Christ, these things are expensive. Back process away from the company.
Alright, so now... We are gonna see... Find this guy. Oh, keeper. First, we're gonna find a keeper. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? No. I saw the monument at Akuz. They got a whole section about you there. It's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry. I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Uh... I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Oh. oh god, this fucking elevator music. Oh my god. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected uh -oh. problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. So this makes it more so much. So I'm somewhere I shouldn't be. Traffic control. Hey, I just found TSA and a keeper. No wonder this is here. See? When you explore. Do my codex. Hmm. 
that. I think I've spent some time reading all that. So I keep trying to go over here because I want to see what's over here. Elevator, but I can't. Ooh, nice. has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued what? for a return of investment money when the study produced no <laughs> viable results. <laughs> okay, I'm getting why everyone loves this game, and I'm so glad that I'm getting to play it now. It's very well done. So now I want to go to lower markets, lower. Bet you someone's gonna try and attack me. I've never lived. Oh well, I'm about to go to that damn club. Assassin. Oh, I should probably check on their equipment really quick.
Ah, oh, damn. So technically no ammunition, so I'd undergo around picking up everything hard. Assault rifles, shotguns, assault rifles, and tanks.
surrender. Where's the Corian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Corian is, but I know where you can find her. The Corian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Let's see. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards. The back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarry. He was a friend of Sarah. That's just unfair. Oh, oh, oh. Take all. Oh, move! Oh my god. There's an actual time limit here. Garrus went down. Oh, shit. Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off.
I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who is this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. Oh, I bet you were. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. Uh -huh. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. Oh dear. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor! The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian. My name is Tolly. <laughs> you saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Complete tech string. One 
person that I'm missing now. Did I miss somebody? I really hope I didn't. Second, guys, I gotta go get the dog back. And I'm back. Let's see. Please take care. Pistols and shotguns. Shotguns unlocked. Oh yeah, I need to I need to learn how to use my talents a little bit. Uh lovers too. Keeper. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. 
Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? Think about I've her. requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. Alright. Let's see. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up I should be day. going now. Have a pleasant day. Citadel Tower. Down to the Emporium first. Go see if there's anything worth buying, really quick. That is why we walk around. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Della Ninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Della. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. What exactly do you sell? Only the f This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire, for a price. I'd like to see these rare and wonderful items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Commander, it is good. Why do you refer to yourself as the for the same reason that he specifically and are only refer to themselves and we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, you Get to the Citadel.
destroy the look on the council's face when they see evidence they can't just ignore. They Try and kill me. It's gonna do it. Damages enemy shields with a certain radius. Overheat to you. Yeah, but that was super foreshadowing earlier when um, Ashley was just like, Oh, well, these staircases are probably really good for defense if this place ever gets attacked. Do, do, do. Yeah, super foreshadowing. I wonder when I'm going to have to I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselor's assistants. Well, too bad. Yes! Keepers! No, I just want to ask a couple of questions. That's a lie. Uh, rear Admiral. Sorry, that was... Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. He's right here. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. No. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. 
You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human specter. Everybody's happy. Yeah. Commander Shepard, step forward. Be a big deal. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Seren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Commander. Turn. And it's invade talents unlocked. And I leveled up, so guess what I'm gonna spend that on? Spectre training! It's just health, accuracy, and effectiveness of all attacks and powers. Damn. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? Sometimes. My brother's the captain of a ship Sometimes. called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. What? They had massive mechanical failure. And? Or they were attacked. Any idea why someone would attack them? Tell me. Privateers, slavers, mercs looking for an easy score. There's a lot of nasty sorts out in the Traverse. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. Isn't anyone else looking at My this? brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. On the way.
I love that I have a red and a blue gun on my belt. I have no idea what my sniper rifle is though. Oh, it's one of this one of them. It's music. I'm gonna have so much fun with this music. I've heard some humans are angry at the Quarians after the attack on Eden Prime. After all, you created the Geth. The Geth killed billions and forced us from our homeworld. Most Quarians believe we have paid properly for our mistake. Hopefully, having you with us fighting Saren will change people's minds. refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all after. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not be However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. 150 credits? This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC. I see the Hanar is left. Happy to help. Here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my spirit. <coughs> oh, I thought he was going to give me my money back. I did. I'm going back to my ship, I believe. Hi, kitty. Stock Bay accessible through this. Oh, CJ Cap. Okay.
my goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. The serviceman Nirali Batya died on Eden Prime. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Batya is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Whoa, oh, aggressive. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies, not much. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you, have, if you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Oh, are you? I can't believe the rumors. The consort would never... What do you want? Oh, Commander. Dumbass. Is there something I can do for you? Calm down, Private. This is... Right, a... sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... Things. <laughs> you never went to see her, did you, Private? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from Thanks, there. kid. Have fun. I will. Have fun, that is. This place seems strange. There's a little more humans around. Oh, shut it. So they finally did it. I... Why did you come to see me, Shepard? Did Ambassador Udina send you? I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious. Always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Ah, uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. I just gonna fuck you. Somebody does like you, man. All right, now we're going to tell this guy about his wife. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosco? Will he return my wife's body? It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests. My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. Oh, I can't do them. 
It's unacceptable. I'll let you know what I can do. Thank you. Please let me know what can be done. Uh, why can't I do the other ones? Why can't I just say, uh, like, uh, whatever. Uh, let's see. Let's see, I can sell. This way. Exogeny Corp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Tally, I heard a rumor that under those environmental suits, you Quarians are partially synthetic. No, living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect against diseases. It still makes you look a little like a Geth, though. I'm just saying. Very rude. Yeah. Blend in with them. Oh, wait, no, they tried to exterminate her. Never mind. And you. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes twenty years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop it. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. 
We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. A keeper. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in. Pro I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. Our enemy knows we're coming. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren, no matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. The captain will be proud. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. You go, Shepard.
my god, it's so complicated. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. when I do that, and I do it all the time in these games, where I completely miss someone that I was supposed to make.
I guess this is just technically exploring, there's nothing really But that was a very intimidating map, I am not gonna lie, okay? All y'all probably understand how it works, but I don't. Um, I have never seen a map like that before, that is ridiculously open world and awesome and great and intimidating and all the things. Um, Debris! What do I do with it? I don't know what to do with it. That's the problem. What do I do with that? Oops. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this thing. All right, I'm going back.
guess the point is, is I'm supposed to find them. Congested with captured rooms, but that's the last time we can get before it dark down. Ripped apart by tunnel force. Large concentration of hydrogen. All terrestrial trace atmosphere of methane of grain or an argon. Oh, puppy wants to go out. I'm actually really happy that these dogs really let you know when they want to go out. Um, it's your mount. So there's not, nothing there. I found a distress signal there. It's a very dense atmosphere. Ammonia and oxygen. Alright, let's see what's here. Medicine unlocked. Level 1 hazard. Oh my god! Do it! Yes! This is probably a much easier way of doing that, but I chose to do it a difficult way. I don't get what I'm supposed to do with this shit. Alright, I'm out of here. Oh, sorry I didn't catch the mute on that first piece right there.
Come on, you can do it! You can do it! Yes! I don't get it. I don't get it. All right, I'm out of here. Wait, there's only actually there's one thing I have to try. One thing I have to try.
See, there is a way to get out. How do I get out? All right, I'm going to jump off for a bit. got to get something to eat. Uh, if you've been watching, thanks a bunch. Uh, check in with you guys later.